Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. This week I've really focused on the mission field, uh, what it looks like and, and how to go about doing invitations. I like to view them as hard sales and soft sales. Uh, I used to be in sales uh, with Circuit City and, and I sold um, uh, cameras and computers and things like that. And I could tell immediately if it was going to be a hard sale or a soft sale by how the customer was, uh, was acting. If the customer was hanging around one particular item, I knew this was gonna be an easy hard sale. All I had to do was say, hey, you wanna buy that? And typically they'd say yes. On the other hand, if they were the kind that were perusing around uh, almost like a deer grazing here and there and there and there, I knew it was gonna be much more of a soft sale. I was gonna have to talk to them about the different cameras and talk to them about the different ways of doing things and share with them about exactly what it were they, what, what is it you're looking for? And maybe, maybe we have it and we can offer it to you. When we do church invitations, when we look at the mission field today, it's not in some country far, far away, for starters. It's in our own backyard. It's within our own nation, within our own state, within our own county. I told folks on Easter Sunday this week, this year, that for every one of them, there were four people who weren't attending church on Sunday. That's right, for every one person who came to church on Easter Sunday this year, there were probably four other people outside the church who were not at a church on Easter Sunday. It's an incredible mission field, and it's right outside our door. And what they really truly are waiting for us to do is not the hard invites that says, hey, won't you come to church with me on Sunday? That's a hard sell. Let's try some soft sales. Let's talk about asking them what's going on in their lives. Talking about asking, what do you got going on? And, and, and looking for opportunities of ways that we can help. There's an incredible amount of people who are dealing with mental health issues and loneliness as a root cause. I mean, during the pandemic, we all had to be cooped up. There were so many folks who ha had loneliness. Go and let them know about different small groups you might have as a church that they might be a part of. There's an incredible desire among people today to have meaning and purpose in their life. And when they spend their time doing something or when they invest their dollars doing something, they want to see it make a positive impact in their world, in their world, in their community, in their lives, in the lives of their neighbors. Invite them to come to some event where you're feeding people or, or packaging up meals or, or going and working on a house or something. Find ways to do the Great Commission in a new way, in a way that speaks to this world, to this culture. We are disciples of Jesus Christ in this world for a purpose. And that purpose is to continue making disciples, making disciples of Jesus, who follows and guides and leads us to share softly invitations to be a part of God's kingdom. When we do this, trust me, we'll find that we're better together. Amen.